Ask any successful person what their secret is behind their success and they will tell you all about the way they organize their life. Organization is key to get your life in order and to book successes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get organized for back to school. I'm going to give you advice based around seven steps that you can take and that will fully prepare yourself for all the new courses that you will be taking when school starts again. Hi everyone, my name is Rose and welcome to this video that is kindly brought to you by Identity, which is a tool for organizing and decluttering the internet. I'll talk more about that later in this video, but first make sure to comment, like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more content. And without further ado, let's start with the video. The first thing you need to get in order is your registration, application and tuition of your university. And these are usually very strict deadlines, so keep an eye on them, write them down and get those affairs in order. They're usually very time consuming and boring, but it's so important to start the new academic year on the right foot. You don't want to have any stress from having to take care of these things while the academic year has already started. And it's very common for universities to deny access to Blackboard or the student portal if you haven't taken care of those things properly. So my advice, just get it over with and keep an eye on those deadlines. So in this next step, we're going to organize our electronics like our laptop and our phones. So let's start with our laptops. Having an organized laptop is all about decluttering and being able to find things easily. So let's get started with that. Firstly, you're going to want to delete any documents and PowerPoints, etc. that you're not going to need anymore this academic year. It just takes up space and you're not going to use it anyway. Then you're going to declutter your desktop. Just delete anything that is not important. And then you're going to create a folder for each subject that you will be taking this academic year. So what I like to do is make subfolders within each of those folders. So for example, if I'm taking the course Corporate Law, I will create a folder for this subject. And then within that folder, I will create a folder for lecture notes, past exams, the syllabus and other general information and working groups. Now, if I have to find anything, I can just go to the folder and find anything I need perfectly organized in there. So now we have organized all the files on our laptop, but I have found an amazing way to organize and declutter the internet. With Identity, you can organize everything you do in one place. In Identity, you can add all of the websites you visit and they will appear in these tiles that you can organize per category. I want to show you a couple of things that I just absolutely love about Identity. Firstly, you can add the specific links of the pages you visit, so you don't have to go through the whole website anymore to find what you're looking for. So for example, when I'm trying to find my uni schedule, I first have to visit my uni's website, then log into Blackboard, and then I can find my schedule. With Identity, my schedule is only one click away. Another thing that has made me super enthusiastic about Identity is that you can organize your websites per category. I have categories for my workouts, school, work and more. Imagine you're trying to write an essay and usually the links to the sources are kind of a mess, but with Identity you can find and categorize them so easily. This is going to be so useful for me because I'm going to write my thesis this year and I could really use this kind of organization. I also want to show you the notes and lists section, which is right here. You can also categorize them into sections of your life like I did. And what's great is that you can add a link in the notes and the lists. So you can add the tiles to the list. So if I have to submit a paper, I can add a link to Blackboard to the task. And then I just have to click on it to get there. And you can also add due dates, which makes the overview even more clear. Identity is free and super easy to use. It only took me about 10 minutes to set everything up and to understand everything. So I will leave a link for you in the description box so you can try it today. Now we are done with organizing our laptops, so it's time to move over to our phones. So I know a phone can be quite a distraction to a student's life, but it can also be a great asset. First of all, delete any files and photos that you don't need anymore. Since the end of last year, your phone is probably stocked with photos of notes and books, but make sure to delete them before the new academic year starts. 
I would also recommend to download a few apps that are specifically designed for organizing your life and making your life better. If you set up your phone for a more successful life, it will be easier to make that successful life happen. This is going to be a more fun part. Getting new school supplies and stationery for the new school year is definitely very fun to me and this is how you do it. First of all, throw away anything that doesn't work anymore like pens that don't have any ink or are dried out, binders that are broken or notebooks that are full. Then you're going to make a list of the things you'll need for the new academic year. I will leave a link in my description box in case you're not sure what you'll need. And then it's finally time to go back to school shopping for all the items that you need. When that's done, make sure to store your stationery in an efficient way so you can find your stuff back and so you can easily grab the things you'll need. I personally use a desk organizer for my stationery and notebooks and I have a few drawers for bigger items. Then it's time to organize your bag and first you want to make sure that you have a bag that is big enough to fit all of your stuff and you also want a bag that is secure enough so it won't break or snap during the school year. Then you should put some must-have items in your bag so you'll never be without it. For me those must-have items are a mask, some kind of food in case I'm hungry, a hair tie, chewing gum, cough drops, an aspirin, pens and paper to write on and lip gloss. It's also super important to be prepared for your courses. Make sure you've signed up for your courses and for the exams as well. These are usually strict deadlines to sign up so make sure you've taken care of this properly. Then you should download or print your syllabus. Personally, I prefer to have it printed because I often scribble down quick notes and reminders for myself and I also use it as a checklist to see if I'm up to date with doing my readings and I also add it to my folder on my laptop to make sure I can still find it so I have a printed version and an online version. And also make sure that you order your books in time. Make sure they arrive at least a few days in advance so you can still read them, etc. Then make sure to do your readings before your first lecture. If there is a schedule with readings for the week, you can check it out, what you have to read, and prepare for the first lectures. I would also recommend to create a list of all your readings, deadlines, and stuff like that on paper. It's totally possible that your syllabus already has this, but for my classes this is often not the case. So what I do is I put a blank paper in my binder. And it's the first page, so I will not forget it. And then I write down all the important things like my readings and my deadlines. And I also use this paper as an information page. So it's a page where I write down all the things for the exam, the study material we should cover for the exams and exam tips. And when I have to study for exams later, I have a paper with lots and lots of tips and information on the exam. And this is a great guide to help me study and prepare for the exams. So this is truly something you should do as well. Then the last thing I recommend for prepping your courses is to write down all the deadlines in your planner or online calendar. And make sure you set a reminder for each of those deadlines so you won't miss any of your deadlines. Make sure to set a reminder a few days before that deadline so even if you forgot about a deadline you can still do something about it to fix it. It's also important to have a designated area to study in, so make sure to visit your desk before school starts and declutter it. Throw out any papers and stuff that you don't need anymore. Make sure to tidy your space and organize it in a way that will help you to focus and that will inspire you to get stuff done. The last thing you should have is a preliminary study schedule. So you already have a schedule for all your classes, but you also should make one for your most important study schedules. So for example, if on Tuesday you only have one lecture, you can decide for yourself, okay, I want to do a library session afterwards for two or three hours. And if on Wednesday you have a day full of classes, you can Decide for yourself, okay, I'm not going to do any studying on Wednesday evening, I'm just going to take an evening off. By doing this, you have a couple of regular hours of studying each week, which makes it easier to make a habit out of studying. And by the end of each week, you'll have a lot of studying done because you've done all those regular hours of studying. So that's why I recommend to make a preliminary study schedule. 
So that is how you fully prepare yourself for a new academic year. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content about productivity and lifestyle. I also noticed that a lot of you guys don't get a notification anymore when there is a new video. So make sure to hit that notification bell so you get a notification when there is a new video. That's everything I wanted to say. I'll see you in my next video and bye!